this hairdo is something else. Whew. Oh yeah. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Those who are new, welcome. My name is Toronto Peak. In this video, I share with you my top five most used handbags in 2021. So super excited because I share the details of why I chose these handbags, why I reached for them, and just overall why they're my top favorites. So let's dive in. All right, let's start with number five. The fifth rank of most used handbag in 2021 is my Louis Vuitton bum bag. This beauty is versatile i'm telling you you can put so many things in here it's in grab and go bag you can put it over your shoulder over your chest over your back it's so easy to use and i just love that you can fit so many things from your toiletry 15 to like two iphones i have one for work and one for personal and just things that you can use every day and as you can see i just opened the bum bag it has so much room for so many things like i said it's really easy um, you can just grab and go, put it over your shoulder and just in front of you for security, but it's high fashion, it's super casual chic, and I love it. And so I don't grab it as much as I like, but it is definitely my top five. All right, and now for number four. This bag is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. And this bag is what I'm currently using right now. I love the handle that you can carry over here. I love the fact that when you need to open the bag, you could just snap open and it's super easy to basically open up when you're crossbody. You can see here, it's super roomy. I have my clay wallet. I also have my six key holder in here, along with my work iPhone. I also could put my personal iPhone. I also could actually even add the toiletry 15, which I always mention in this bag. I carry it wherever I go. But yeah, it's very roomy. It's also another crossbody, which is to me very important. I love the fact that it's chic. I love the fact that it's basically durable and also the style is a classic. So you can never go wrong with this bag. And for me, it's something that I grab and go and it does have some sprinkles of rain here and there. I'm not too worried because of the canvas. And overall, now that I have things that cover the top, which basically allows instead of having water damage, it makes you feel that this bag is carefree. So yeah, I love it. It's super easy to use, it's a classic, and it holds everything that I need. And now for number three, we are now steering away from Louis Vuitton and now entering the Saint Laurent house. And this baby is the Saint Laurent puffer bag. I love this bag. It looks super wrinkly in camera, but it's so chic. I love the fact that it could be a shoulder bag. It could be a crossbody bag. It has such a nice gun metal to black look to it that I just cannot be without. It's something that I can dress up and dress down more when you're dressing up. It's more of like a date night. Nothing like you would go to a gala or a fundraiser that I do for work. It gives you that edgy look, but also that casual look that you're looking for. So yeah, I love it. It's so roomy. It's so soft. And also, ladies and gents, this bag is big. It's a bit noisy, as you can hear but it has a lot of room to spare. You could put so many things in here. You can just throw things and forget about it. You can just overall feel comfortable, especially when it rains, as I mentioned before my other bags. I want something that is durable, practical. And this to me, I can go out and feel a bit more chic and edgy and still a bit high fashion. So overall for me, it needs to be crossbody. It needs to be a shoulder bag as an option. And this is versatile and it does provide both. And this bag being number three, definitely saw its use in 2001. All right, and now for number two. This beauty is a classic. It's one of my top three handbags I first purchased for myself in starting my collection. It's never out of style. It's definitely a bit boring compared to the other ones I have right now, but I love, love, love the fact that it's one of my favorite go-tos all season long. And that is the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier 30. This beauty is like my always 
stress-free bag. It has the Damir Abin print. It basically has the um, treated color handles. So when it rains, when it pours, and just overall to me, this is a weather resistant bag. Yes, like I said, it's super simple, it's classic, but if you're running around doing errands, doing a little bit of shopping, to me, I want something, like I said, still high fashion, very classic, but worry-free, stress-free. So I'm able to carry as a handle bag. I love the straps that it has a feature as the bandolier. And just overall, the quality has been amazing. I've had this bag for over five years now. As you can see, it has, you know, um, air paper in here. I love the red interior. Most people like to have a bag organized in here, but for me, I don't mind. I love the fact that I could just throw everything in here and not worry too much because the bag is not too big and also it's not too small. And so to me, it's just the right fit. So I carry this, I would say almost 50% of the time during the year, if I'm not reaching out for a bag for an occasion bag, an evening bag, a dress up bag. This is definitely the bag I go and grab for just because like I said, when you're just running around and you're just trying not to stand out, but still want to be high fashion and chic, this is the bag I'd go for. And finally, my number one bag of 2021. I feel like this is going to be my forever top bag for my entire collection. And that is the Chanel Wallet on Chain, also known as Walk. Many would say this is an SLG, a wallet, but to me, this is the forever handbag that I go to. Yes, I use it as a wallet. Yes, I use it as a crossbody bag. It's so versatile. It's so chic. I carry this wherever I go, either in my bandolier, in my tote. It's just the overall essential item luxury bag that you want to have with you. The reason why is the look of it, as you can see, is such a classic. It's so durable. It has the caviar leather. It has the back pocket that I love because if you want to put like um, little receipts or a small car, your hotel room card, I put it back here. And also the button snaps, it unsnaps perfectly easily. And then you can see here, it has a slot for your cards, a zipper here for other essential items. And then down here for any other cash for me and or miscellaneous items that I need. But you guys can see here, the chain. The chain is gorgeous. Yes, it's a bit noisy. People complain about the chain because of that. But to me, it's just something that's minor that if you stop, you know, if you don't really think about, it really doesn't bother me at all. The chain is definitely beautiful. As you can see, it's the golden black. And also you can use it as a crossbody. Also, I have a trick. If you want to use it as a shoulder bag, you cross the chain like this, and then you hold it in the middle this way. And then you take this bottom part of the chain and then just loop it inside the bag like this. And voila, you have a shorter version of the bag that I use when I want to go out in the evening. I would have like my credit card, my ID, essential things that I need, maybe a lip gloss or so, but overall it's something that I feel that you can dress up and dress down and bring it wherever I go. Especially for me at work and when I travel, I do have my other designer bags when I go to like different fundraisers or meetings and so forth. But when I'm out and about in the evening, we're having dinner as a team with my coworkers, I can go out with this and still look a bit dressy without being over the top. But yeah, this is my favorite most used handbag in 2001. All right, loves, that is it for my top five most used handbags in 2001. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up along click subscribe and the notification button for future videos. Like I said, I love doing luxury hauls, sharing my top fives, sharing luxury hacks. And if you're into that, please subscribe. I've noticed that 90% of those who watch me are not subscribed. So please, please, please let me know of any feedback that I can do to better my channel. 
But overall, I'm super appreciative of you guys because so far we're at 950 followers and subbies slash subbies. And it's getting me so excited because once we hit 1,000 subscribers, I have so many giveaways to give to you guys. But anywho, I just want to say thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. But other than that, have an amazing day. Love you. Bye.